Why would I say visit the Philippines no matter what your age? The first thing I want to say is generally I recommend traveling anyway. Um, if you're in America, especially outside of America, because your viewpoints will go like that, because I find the U.S. very insular. Just speaking to people from America and some of the TV that comes out of there, there's, you know, food shows or this is, you know, top food in the world and then it's just within the states it's just like what are you talking about you haven't taken into account the rest of the planet um but anyway i recommend traveling now it doesn't matter if you're young or old if you're in your 20s or i'd say 21 is probably the absolute minimum uh, purely from a safety perspective unless you're backpacking and going with a, a friend or a few friends then it's up to you i'm not taking responsibility for you <laughs> But if you're in your early 20s, going to the Philippines and traveling around Asia, you will get a whole new perspective on life. You'll see things that just make you aware of the differences and contrasts of East and West. But also, you start to see that a lot of stuff that revolves around the media and stuff is incorrect. It's because the media has this very narrow viewpoint. But once you start traveling, you start to experience things. You start to meet people. You start to talk to people from all different races, nationalities, creeds, colors, everything. And you start to understand that there's more to life than the town you come from. Um, from somebody who's in their 40s, for example, divorced, gone through the nightmare of the divorce, paying for it lost the house, lost everything, etc. I say, get on the next flight to the Philippines. Go there, spend a couple of weeks, spend a month, learn something new. It will reinforce everything you've lost. Um, you'll, you'll get a respect back for women. <laughs> um, I... I I know I, I bash women quite a bit, from Western women quite a bit, but I mean, it's a bit unfair in some ways because a lot of it is not the women themselves. A lot of it is just the politics behind the bias system to avoid the system um, absorbing the debts of a divorce, you know, child support or uh, benefits because the husband may be the breadwinner that's been working for the last 20, 25 years where the wife was the housekeeper and uh, she looked after the house took care of the kids but when that guy goes he takes the money with him as such the state does not want to have the benefit of the housing benefit the child benefit the child allowance the um everything council tax rebates all that sort of stuff to take care of them that's why they go it's the guy's fault. Take as much as you can from the guy. It's all him. It's all him. And that's why I say, you know, I can't blame women because I'm not. Well, the first thing is I'm not blaming women. It's a, um, it's a system that is biased, but likes to make out that the guy is the demon and the woman is always the victim, which makes it even worse. Um, but anyway, but if you're a guy that's got over that divorce nightmare. Go to the Philippines, spend a bit of time meeting women, seeing a new environment. You, it'll reinvigorate you, it'll put you back to life, it'll put you back on the right path. You'll meet the right person, I can guarantee it, over a period of time. I wouldn't say over this week or over two weeks, but if you're spending one, two weeks there, meet several people that you get an interest in, and then keep following it up over a period of time on the internet and stuff, and then make a few travels back you'll find that your whole perspective on life will change for the better and you'll be more upbeat. Because um, I, I know so many guys that have basically had their hearts ripped out because of exes and the legal systems and everything else. And going to the Philippines would be the best thing for them. Because they need it. They really do. Now, on to the older guys. The 50 pluses. I also recommend going to the Philippines because, you know, whether you're divorced, partner's deceased or whatever, um, there's a lot of opportunities in the Philippines. 
um, to meet somebody. But also, if you've already got your pension out, sorted out, you retired early at 55 or whatever, the Philippines can offer a different way of life that you may not have thought of. I know people all around Asia um, that initially didn't plan on living there, but once they made that transition, um, they've gone out there, dragged out there often by sons, brothers, whatever, and bang, they suddenly realise they love it, fall in love, and don't come back. (laughs) You know, they rent their houses out in the UK, and they stay there. So, even that age group, you'll find that you'll love the Philippines. Now, retirees, the same. The only thing with with the retirees, I would just say, well, it's just the same, you know. You'll be happier. Um, Because I I find people get very lonely. Even here in Spain, it's a bit odd, because some of the, even in our block, there's people I've never seen. They're there, but you never see them. Now, if I never see them, it means they rarely go out. So, my concern being is, is that how I'd want to die? Would I want to spend my last 10, 15 years in a little flat, um, not seeing people from day to day? Man says, no, there was a woman in Barcelona that was found. She'd been dead in her flat for five years. That's in the, in the last month. Philippines, you will never get left alone five minutes, never mind five years. <laughs> You'll always have somebody bothering you about something, but in a positive way. So, from my perspective, I say travel. I'm not saying settle down yet. I'm not saying make any decisions. I'm saying visit the country, get some experience, get some new perspective on life. And I'm sure you'll love it. All right, thanks for watching.